Ukrainian House, a conference center near Independence Square, was a flashpoint in this power struggle on Saturday night, used as a base for riot police. It was stormed by protesters who broke windows and threw Molotov cocktails. Officers resisted with stun grenades and water hose, but demonstrators persisted, forcing police to leave. The protest movement already holds other key buildings in Kiev and regional government headquarters outside the capital. Denouncing presidential concessions, this man says, you can't buy Ukrainian people. We take decisions and we want Yanukovych and the government to step down. We've reached a point where police can use violence at any time to clear the place. The only thing they understand is force. It's two months since this movement began, but unrest has intensified over recent days with the introduction of sweeping anti-protest laws pushed through Parliament by presidential loyalists. The opposition claims at least six activists have been killed. Our correspondent says the presidential proposition is interesting for opposition leaders, but they've called on protesters to stay on the streets of Kiev and on the barricades until Tuesday, January the 28th. That's when Parliament will hold a special session to discuss the controversial laws that put restrictions on protesters.